All right, so you can see I got the circuit all cleaned up here. Um, anywhere where I could just use a direct point-to-point -point wire like here, I put them in place so there's significantly less wires um, hanging around. Got my three sensors here, my reset switch. Um, uh, these are for the three lanes of the racetrack when I get to that point. This is my start-stop switch. It's a door sensor. Uh, if you've ever seen a Cub Car track or a Pine Wood Derby, you'll know where to hook that up. So basically you reset it, calibrating sensors on your mark, get set, and then as soon as you flick the lever, it goes. So now the time is running. Lane 2 goes first. So it shows you lane 2. Lane 1 is next. It shows you lane 1. Lane 3 is next. It shows you lane 3. And now it cycles through race results. Lane 2, 1, and 3. First place is lane 2 with his time. Second place is lane 1 with his time. Third place is lane 3 with uh, time. So it's basically all ready to be soldered and stuff. I've got to get the stuff for soldering it and uh, then trying it out with the track. I've also, when I get a bigger LCD, this is the only LCD I have, I'm going to make some changes to accommodate um, a bigger LCD to have all the results on one spot rather than rotating through them like it's doing now.